And in this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Bolton Bastard Girls for the game A Song of Ice and Fire, the miniatures game, okay, from Simon. Um, very nice unit. We're going to have a look at them. We're going to open the box, see what we get inside, look at the cards, have a little talk, maybe talk about the unit and see what what's good about them. And then we'll uh, have a little review at the end. So I'll see you soon. Right, so as you can see, we have got our uh, Bolton Bastard Girls, okay, the box set for the well the unit box set for the song of ice and fire and as always the front images of this is just insane okay lovely artwork i always say this because it's it's true the artwork is immense turn over on our back and as always we have our unit contents so it contains 12 miniatures one unit card and one movement tray so you don't get any attachments with this okay with this um with this unit there's no attachments for it which is fair enough. We're going to have a look through and see what they do. You have four different sculpts. So four of each dog. And you have two of each bowman. Okay. As you can see there. What we'll do is we'll open it up. And we'll have a look inside. Oh. Right. So the first thing you're greeted with. Is the movement tray. Exactly the same as all the other movement trays. With the details on it. And the... Um, you know, a bit of the stuff you can just dry brush on so you don't even have to put um, texture paint on. Brilliant. Then we get our unit card, which we'll have a look at. So it is a seven point unit. Quite expensive, but let's see what they can do. So, as you can see, we have a movement of five. We have a ranged and a melee attack. We have, for the ranged, only four dice... All the way through so even if you lose ranks you still only have four dice all the way through and you hit on threes our melee which is a blade and fangs we hit on threes and we have six attacks for the full unit if we lose a rank we have another six attacks if we lose that rank so we've lost two's rank now we have three attacks okay so obviously not too bad with the first two well the last one you go down to three six up save so they're going to be losing quite a lot of people, especially with uh, you know, with all of the melee attacks coming in. And they have a 5 plus morale though, so the morale is really well. Okay, as you can see there. Moving over to this side, we have an order. Sikkim. After this unit completes a ranged attack, this unit may make a free charge action against the target enemy. So it's technically going to give you two lots of attacks. Which is brilliant because you'll do your ranged attack. They'll do the saves. They'll do the morale test. They'll you know lose some models hopefully with the morale test. You are then going to be within range to do a charge. You'll do a charge. You'll run up and you'll attack them again. So you'll have two attacks basically straight away with two sort of panic tests with them. That is insane because you could wipe out units. Even though you don't get many attacks, you could potentially wipe out units with this. It's a long range bow as well. And if the defender rolls any ones on the defense saves, they become vulnerable. That is class. Very, very nice. So no wonder it's seven points. Yeah, that is a very good unit. I would technically use these unit as a bit of a an initial strike force. So I'll have my main guys at the back ready to run through and do this, do some damage. But I'll use these as sort of like sacrificial lambs, really. Send them forward. Being able to do some rain shots. And once they've done the rain shots, they've got a chance to do charge and get in again. So they're going to be the big hitters first. Yes, you'll get, you know, if they take out the unit, they will get a um, victory point for, for killing the unit. However, the amount of damage you can dish out and have them two panic tests with them and make them vulnerable, you know, I think it's quite worth it getting in there and taking out maybe a, a good unit of, of, I don't know, maybe the mountains men or something yeah so i think that's very good a very good unit for seven points the unit i would use like i say is a bit more of a more of a hindrance really you're going to get your attacks you're going to get your ranged attack as well as your melee attacks off it it, it gives your opponents something really to think about and how are they going to maneuver their their units that they've got or what they're going to send in first so yeah, I do quite like that. And then we've got our miniatures. And again, you know, a nice carrying case as always. I'm gonna open these now. 
there we go so we have as you can see four guys and eight dogs what I'll do is we'll have a look at them closely now and then I'll put them on my little turntable after but yeah very nice again I might look at putting some string near them just to make it a little bit more a little bit more realistic but very nice I do really like these dogs okay these are the one the other ones these ones here they're okay I mean I'm not a big fan of the sculpt to be fair that sculpt of that dog I'm not a big fan of it the face doesn't look right to me I don't know why it might be a little bit small for the miniature maybe I'm not sure but that face is not real life for me however I do like this sculpt this sculpt of the dog it looks nice it's almost like a mastiff I like it that's a good sculpt so we get some nice sculpts in here okay very nice so yeah that is our our Bolton Bastard Girls I think a very useful unit especially can dish out a bit of damage got the movement I mean yeah they only move five but with the move five shooting and then do a free charge you potentially can move quite far across this board okay you can yeah it's, I think it's a very good unit very useful unit and a very maneuverable unit as well okay when you consider you've got the free charge if you're within range all right so what we'll do was we'll have a look at these on the turntable and then we'll see my ugly mush in a second so i'll see you soon <laughs> we have it guys the Bolton Bastard Girls um, a nice unit as in um, what can you say a nice unit that it's got some nice abilities the sculpt of the dogs the one which got its paw up I'm not a real big fan of that one to be fair it's not my favorite sculpt um, I thought it could be a little bit better um, but the other ones are not too bad you know I do quite like them that other sculpt though it's, it's put it off for me a little bit just for that one um, but the unit themselves are a very nice unit, especially for the movement. So they get the movement of five, get a shot off, and then it can do a free charge. Now, don't forget, once you do a free charge or do a charge move, you can still move your whatever you've rolled. So you can still move up. So you can, you can cover quite a lot of ground, really, from this. Um, and also, if you manage to get into the charge and actually have the, uh, the fight, then you could do a lot of damage. You have two panic tests on the enemy that you're going to do because they do a panic test after they've had a, a shot. And then a panic test after they've done a melee attack. Uh, it, it's a good unit. I mean, seven points is quite. Uh, it's quite expensive. It's the same points as like giants and, uh, and things like that. So it's 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 nice. They don't have a good save because it is a six plus save, but the morale is fantastic. As a five plus, it's a really good morale. So as a unit, I think it's a nice unit um, to take. It won't be one of the things that I take all the time. But it's a very nice unit just to now and again to bring it's just put off with that that sculpt to be fair uh, that sculpt really you know took it away from me because the other sculpts that we've seen have just been fantastic but that sculpt of that that dog i don't know if it's the head that's too big or uh, too small sorry or just just the way it looks it's not right for my personal opinion okay but there we have it a seven point unit for the boltons very nice um if you like this video, then please subscribe and click on the notification bell um, for when we uh, release new videos. I keep saying this, but we are going to get some battle reports out there. Um, basically, I'm trying to figure out how to do a video of the battle reports properly. because we've been videoing them and then we've been editing them because we don't want to spend hours and hours and hours watching them. So I am trying to figure out the best ways, especially using the camera that I'm using. So we're just going to see how it goes. We'll put a couple of on um, and see what you think and let us know um, your verdicts really um, we are going to be doing some painting tutorials about painting these um, these Boltons up um, and yeah let's see how far we can go we've got some more stuff coming out in the next month quite a lot of things coming out in the next month of unboxing so hopefully we'll get hold of them have a look inside look at the models look at the units and how they're going to benefit the factions okay so yeah please leave any comments below and 
that's going to be bye from me for now. See you soon.